Hey folks, dude here, coming at you on October 15th, Thursday, October 15th. I'm gonna tell you about something kind of cool. Now, if you're prepping, or if you just want to have something quick and easy, doesn't require heat, you want to have 10 goods, or you wish to have just simply something that is just, you know, kind of that comfort food thing that's just easy to grab and go. Today's product is going to be Darcha Kucha, and it's going to be the Herring Fillets in Mango Pepper Sauce. This is a product that you can buy from your local Aldi store, and I have just had the can. Now, I can tell you for a fact, uh, case in point, most times when you get a product and you pull it out of the can, it's either hit or miss whether it's good or not. Most times you're thinking a fish product that's been tinned, unless it is smoked, it's going to be probably one of those hit or misses. Now, anything smoked to me is usually good, but there is definitely those cases where you open a tin and you go, <laughs> oh, oh no, what, what, oh geez, what were they thinking here? This was a swing, a miss, and you hit the catcher right in the nuts. This was a bad execution, and it is not good shiznit. In this case, though, I can tell you for a fact, this stuff is good. And the fact it's actually good and cheap is both a swing, a hit, out of the park, broke somebody's windshield, bounced off that car, and broke three more cars' windshields also. This stuff rocks. Now, in terms of what the actual product is itself, it is basically like a bunch of fish fillets covered in an orange sauce that, to me, is not so much mango and pepper, but more of a curry. Now, they do have another tin, and I'm going to I'm gonna check this at a later date. The second one I'm looking at is a curry pineapple sauce. That's going to be the second one I test and give you guys kind of a, you know, how does it work? Is it good? Is it bad? Does it work? Does it not work? This mango and pepper one is good. To me, it really cues, and it harkens to a good curry sauce. Now, the thing that's a little sketchy about it is they put a lot of thickeners in there, so the body of the sauce is a little strange. It's a little sweet. Uh, it does have a pretty good curry hit, and if you get a hold of the peppercorns themselves, and I love to eat peppercorns after they've been in sauce, they have a good pepper flavor. The sauce itself is nice. It has a good round flavor to it. It's a little sweet to my book. It's a little sweet, but that's mango, okay? Mango is a very sweet fruit. Now, to look at this stuff from north to south and actually what it comprises, it is a serving size of one piece. Yeah, right. Uh, serving size is, of course, one piece out of four pieces. The calorie count is 90. The calories from fat are 50. Total fat, six grams. Saturated fat, two grams. Trans fat, zero, of course. Cholesterol being 30 milligrams. Sodium being 320, which is not a bad shake for fish. Total carbs are two grams. Dietary fiber is one gram. I don't know how they manage that. Two grams of sugar and six grams of protein. So this stuff is actually pretty good stuff. Now, in terms of what the actual ingredients are, they say they're herring fillets, water, rapeseed oil, which is not a bad thing, mango chutney, which is sugar, mango, spirit vinegar, salt spices, tomato concentrate, sugar, spirit vinegar, green peppercorns, guar gum, locust bean gum, sodium alginate, which are all thickeners, those last three, spices, Skim milk powder, salt seasoning, modified cornstarch, milk protein, dextrose, which is another form of sugar. Flavors contains fish, herring, milk may contain wheat, egg, soy, and, you know, other stuff like that I'm worrying about. Distributed by Aldi, product of Germany. So, it is a German product. That is not a bad thing. They say the fish is actually caught. They act, this is pretty funny. They actually say the Northeast Atlantic is the catch zone. The catch method is midwater trawl. So they say it's a sustainable food product with all the stupid little things, recyclable aluminum can, you know, all the rest of the good stuff like that there. Uh, serving size on this thing is not huge. It's a seven ounce can uh, or 200 grams of weight. Now, in terms of what the actual product is itself, from the taste out set of things, this is a win, man. If you guys have this stuff and you're prepping, if you're prepping, this is a good sized tin. It's reasonably strong. It's not real big into uh, Mark One ruler. It is approximately, um, it is 10 centimeters wide. It is approximately about 18 centimeters long. In inches, that's going to be, what is that? Two, three, three and a quarter inches by almost six inches. And of course, it is one, barely an inch tall or in centimeters, two point, eh, about, about two centimeters in height. So this is not a huge product. You could pack a scat of these things in any prep situation and... They're tasty. They're very tasty. Also, the biggest thing going for them, they're cheap. These things are like under two bucks a pop. And if you want to split these things up with a couple people, yeah, you're going to be kind of hurting. But if you split this thing up with two people, it has a pretty good amount of protein. It's got a pretty, pretty good amount of calories. If you mix this up with some kind of rice dish 
or some kind of rice dish and some greens, you'll be getting a pretty good amount of component of all those things to keep you running and gunning. Or if you scarf it down by yourself like what I just did, even without some sides, it's pretty good shiznit, man. I'm going to recommend this to you guys. I'm going to say wholeheartedly, out of five stars, this is four stars. This is a good product. Definitely go down to your Aldi's and check out these mango and pepper guys. Now, I'm going to also be tasting up next is going to be... The curry pineapple sauce. So these are herring flights, and I like herring, okay? I am not a huge, huge fan of herring, but I like herring. Herring smoked is amazing. Herring with these sauces, however, is also rather good stuff. So I'm going to commend it to you guys. Eat good, keep the sun ring as always, always. You know it, you love it. Mmm, tin fish goodness. Oh, good time. See you guys. Urgh!